Hi guys, welcome back to this series on ML apps using Android. So today we are going to discuss about audio classification model and we also have a giveaway at the end. So let's get started. So while building our Android app, we had done one custom audio classification where we were able to detect between five different birds. So what was done was uh, Google had taken a pre-trained uh, pre YAMnet classification model and then using transfer learning was able to build a new custom model which would identify the birds using their audio or using their sounds. So this was the pathway that we completed and uh, this is the article uh, detailing how that uh, model was built and what was the logic behind that. So here they will explain that YAMnet model can classify between 521 different sounds and basically they use the same uh, classified model or the same trained neural network to differentiate between five different types of birds. So basically first this was classifying in 521 classes but we later using transfer learning retrain the model to use only or to output only five different types of classes. The challenges while building audio models is that your audio output should be in 16 kilohertz mono channel and uh, you should not have a lot of disturbances and uh, the data set that you are using when you are splitting the data, one recording should always land in validation or in test. So if you are splitting a very long audio, the same file should not end up in both validation and training data because it will just corrupt your results. So that is some things that you need to take care of. Uh, I leave all these links in the description so that you can go through them. So basically this is the data set that they have used. It is comes from the Zeno Canto website and these are the five uh, different birds that they can classify. House Sparrow, a Red Crossbill, a White Breasted Wood Wren, Chestnut Crown and Pitta and Azara's Spine Tail. So basically these five birds. Here also they mentioned that it should be 16 kilohertz sample rate, one audio channel or mono recording and 16 bit rate. So these are some things which are important for the model to work properly because the original YAMnet classification model was also built using these classification or specifications. So this is the transfer learning or you can say this is how it was built. So again we have the imports for uh, the TensorFlow Lite. Basically you install all the dependencies and then you download the data set. So it's very big that is why I have not downloaded. And then if you want you can actually explore the data. It's already split. Uh, so the split is not happening at runtime as we saw before because the audio files consistency has to be maintained. And then basically, uh, this is just to play some random audio. And then finally, they train the model using this code. So audio classifier, YAMnet spec. And these are the classifications or specification that they have given. So basically, the frame length and frame steps. The frame length is basically to decide how each training sample is. So expected waveform into three seconds and then the steps or how far apart the training samples are, it would be uh, expected waveform length into six seconds. So basic. So, and finally, uh, loading, uh, loading the data and training the model. So this is like the base model spec training and this is the actual model training. So the class, the customization that we are doing. You can see the epochs and batch size are more compared to a normal ones. So basically after you train, uh, you can actually see the confusion matrix, but that is not relevant now. So I'm going to leave it. So basically once all this is done, you will get the audio model, same as we saw before. So this is the MyBirds model and you would be able to directly use it as we showed in the previous videos. So if you are wondering how to use this model, please follow this play playlist and you should be able to get to the video where we add a custom screen for identifying the birds. So the giveaway. So currently, so recently I, I Neuron 
company, which is founded by Krishna Ike and Tridanshu, have come out with this one neuron course. So basically, this is what they call as education as a service, where a user who signs up to this subscription, which is currently available for lifetime access, would be available to even request for courses which are not there as part of the offering. So currently, uh, one neuron basically boasts of a lot of courses, almost everything that you need to as a student or an experienced person to switch your jobs, get a new job or to do well in your current job. So all all the things from cloud to mobile to data science, ML and even uh, Excel, Word, aptitude test, data structures, everything is available. Apart from that, what they offer is raising a demand, basically, which means that if you want a new course, something like on Bitcoins or cryptocurrency, you can request for that. You can even ask for a new module in existing course, topic explanation, doubt clearing. And if you see, everything comes with a time limit. So someone from their team will get back to you within that time. You also have resume discussion and mock interview and also a chance to work with them just in case you want a hands-on experience. So all this is currently available for 7,080 rupees. And if you use this link, which is in the description or this code at checkout, you will get a 10% discount. So this lifetime access is only available till 15 Jan 2022. So from 16 Jan, the access with this money will only be for one year. So please do hurry up and sign up. And from the video side, if you have any doubts, please leave them in the comments and see you in the next video.